Husband, 27, and I, 26 female, have been married for the past three years. Starting last year, I had a six-month affair with my superior at work. It came to light last week and it was a whole thing. I got fired from my job, my superior got fired from his job, and today morning I was served divorce papers from my husband. I'm shocked, scared, panicked, sick, nauseous, and devastated. I've been struggling with this for a while and had already decided to end things with the other man when his wife found out. My superior, who's older and married with kids, has had affairs before, and this was the final strike for his wife. Knowing that I was yet another fish in his pond has made me feel even cheaper about myself. I know I messed up, but I love and will always love my husband. I know it sounds cliche, but it's truly how I feel. I just need a chance to talk to him so I can explain why and what happened. But he has completely blindsided me with divorce papers and now he's disappeared off to somewhere. He's not responding to any of my calls or texts. And to make matters worse, his sister came in the afternoon and tore me to shreds. I'm embarrassed and all around just lost. It's like a complete wall of silence from our mutual friends and his parents. Even our parents who have known each other for years are unable to make contact. I know I did something horrible. I destroyed everything we built. But he's got to talk to me, damn it. He can't just disappear on me like this. We have so much history just to throw it all away like this. Update. If you've read my post, you know how my husband went behind my back to serve me divorce papers, then disappeared off to somewhere. I've still not been able to contact him. My parents tried to reach out to his parents, but were stonewalled. My husband isn't seeking reconciliation at the moment, and further communication will only be through attorneys. I'm no longer looking for him. I'm slowly coming to the realization that this is over. I admit I did something horrendous, but in my eyes, what he's done slash what he's doing is much worse. If he has such little interest to hear my side of the story, then he will not hear it. My father has hired an attorney for me, He's embarrassed to show his face around, he says. He wants me to end things amicably, and I do too. But a part of me wants to make it difficult. We have no shared assets. Our lease is ending in four months, and we were looking to put a down payment on a house, but we never got around to. So we can split cleanly, evenly. But then, that'd just be the end for us. I do not want it to be the end. I was supposed to grow old with him, in our dream home, start our own family. I deeply regret what I've done and understand the gravity of my actions. But I still believe if we talk, we can sort this out. I just need the one chance to communicate with my husband and try to make things right. I'm not looking for advice anymore. I just wanted to vent. Thanks for reading this far. Story 2. Just over two years ago, my wife cheated on me with a coworker at her work's Christmas party out of town. She told me immediately the morning after. To say I was devastated would be an understatement. This happened pretty much immediately prior to our country going into lockdown, so we were stuck together. I was in a bit of a daze at the time and just kind of went through the motions. I was angry and miserable, but also wanted to understand why she would do it. Hence, it made sense to work through it at the time, seeing as we were seemingly stuck together. To her credit, though, she did everything possible to make it right. She quit her job, cut off all contact with the coworker, offered to go to therapy counseling, and even admitted to what she did publicly. I never asked her to do this, and her mother and sister are very close to her and were appalled. She became much more loving and considerate and even offered to let me sleep with someone else. I was actually upset with this suggestion, but she was only saying it out of desperation. Fast forward to now, two years later, and by all accounts, things feel like they're back to normal again, at least for her. She's no longer moping around the house, stepping on eggshells in conversation, breaking down when anything regarding cheating happens. She started crying while we were watching a soap where a wife cheats on her husband. Unfortunately, I feel like this return to normalcy has reopened the wound. I think about that night more these days than I did during the previous two years. I don't know why, but I think that society returning to a bit of a pre-2020 state has made me feel like I've gone back in time to that evening. I can't stand to look at her anymore. Not in a she disgusts me way, but in more of a why are you still even here kind of way. I feel guilty for wanting to leave now after all the work she put in, even though logically I know I shouldn't. 
I feel like I'm the bad guy for wanting to end the marriage after the work she has put in. I know people will be able to easily say she made her bed, etc. But I'm still really struggling with the idea of leaving her for her sake. I don't hate her for it, but I don't think I love her anymore, and I know this will destroy her. Part of me wishes I was strong enough to have left when it happened. Anyone been in a similar situation or have any advice? Thanks in advance. Edit, thanks for all the responses. I feel I had already made up my mind about what I needed to do, but having people validate that I wouldn't be wrong for leaving has given me the push I need. I'll be talking to my wife later today. Update thanks to everyone who commented on my previous post. I was surprised how much people cared about my benign marriage problems, but it helped me a lot. I checked this account out today to see what the responses were since last week and was taken aback by the number of people who wanted an update. The day after I posted, I talked to my wife and laid out my feelings. I mentioned some of the points that people on my previous post had articulated very well that resonated with me. I told her whilst I had forgiven her, I was struggling to forget what happened. And the fact we were seemingly going back to normal had triggered something in me and now I couldn't stop thinking about it. I said that whilst I do appreciate all the work she put in to try and save our marriage, I couldn't continue anymore. I mentioned a point that someone on my previous post said that whilst we were in lockdown, it almost felt easier to just ignore the issue to some degree as I would always know where she was or what she was doing. But recently, for the first time since it happened, she's going into town and visiting friends and my mind is just running at 100 ampere while she's out. Who is she with? Why is she slightly late home, etc.? And I haven't had to confront these feelings before. She cried. I cried. She begged me to stay. I cried again. We spent what felt like hours just sitting together in the living room, not speaking at points. She asked the same questions multiple times. Do I still love her? Will we ever see each other again? Is there anything we can try to make this work? I think eventually she was doing it to delay the inevitable. She's now staying at her mom's house and I'm going to file for divorce. I know it's easy to lay all the blame at her feet when you're on the outside looking in, but I feel just as bad today as I did the day I found out what happened. I am heartbroken again and know full well I'm going to question myself if I've made the right choice. You can tell me it is the right choice all you like. There is no way I will ever be sure this was the right choice. There are no winners with this shit. Everyone is miserable. Everything sucks and I'm here reliving the most painful experience of my life for the benefit of a bunch of internet strangers who probably only want to read about the drama and have no reason to care about me personally. I don't mean to come across as bitter. I had lots of genuinely supportive comments on my previous post. I'm just really struggling right now. I won't be using this account or responding here again after this post. Thanks to everyone who commented on my previous post. It may not feel like the right decision now, but trust me when I say a year from now, you will look back and realize you made the correct decision. Until then, stay busy and go no contact with her. You're saving yourself a lifetime of heartbreak, OP. So I wouldn't say everyone loses, losing what you have now sets you up for having something better in the future. Everyone deserves a faithful partner. Getting past this will take time and there will be days full of regret, but you will get through it. Good luck, try to stay positive, Try new things and work on self-improvement. Comments. Try to think less about whether this is the right decision. There's no way of knowing that. Think instead about how this was a necessary decision. You had to do this as you were tormented by this and it wasn't sustainable. It truly gets better with time. I went through this and tried to work it out. For me, once trust is broken, it can never be the same. I would think I was moving on and something would trigger reliving all of the heartbreak. After we split, it took a couple years before I was ready for a serious relationship. We were together for six years. I'm glad that I decided to live alone and basically date myself for a while. Now I've been with my BF for almost four years. I don't stress if he goes out or makes a new friend that's a girl. I never have that little voice in the back of my mind worrying about if he's cheating. I will waste my time in another unhealthy relationship again. Sorry it's come to this, but I fully understand. You sharing this may help someone in a similar situation or catch the eye of someone who is thinking of cheating. Let it be a cautionary tale of the damage that is done by infidelity. The trauma never goes away and you're never the same. I wish you well.